I think we talked about this yesterday, but I just wanted to remind you. I'm dealing with a lot at the moment. I'm planning to swing by the hospital today to visit Dad. Seems like he's not doing too great. By the way, I left some lunch in the fridge, so make sure to take it out and heat it up when you're hungry. Gosh, I really don't want to hear that. It's tough to think about. I feel for him. He must be going through so much pain. I'm grateful that my parents are still healthy. By the way, wasn't your dad mentioning that cancer runs in your family? He got me thinking if it runs in mine too. There's a chance that you might get cancer too at some point. Have you thought about that? Come on, let's not talk like that. Especially considering everything that's going on. Can't you see that it's hurtful? Gosh, I didn't mean to be rude. It was just a joke. Don't take me so seriously. I'm just trying to brighten up your day. What kind of joke is that? You know my dad is literally fighting for his life. So please, be mindful of what you say around me right now. Come on, calm down. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You've been so down in the dumps lately. I just wanted to cheer you up. But don't get all sensitive on me. I'm not being all sensitive. I just don't think that you should joke around about a serious condition like cancer. You know that my dad is suffering so much now and how important he is to me. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm sorry. My parents are still doing surprisingly well. I'd feel better if something were to happen to them actually. What? Why would you say something like that? Well, because look at you now. You're always there with your father at his side. You're doing the right thing for your father by being there with him. He needs as much support as possible now. So you'll be able to look after my parents. Best of both worlds. It doesn't really work like that, you know? You need to be there for your parents when and if they get ill. My parents mean something very different to me than what your parents mean to me. Don't be like that. Would it be natural if you'd look after my parents too? They are your parents-in-law. They've been so caring and considerate of you over the years. I can't believe you're refusing to take care of them. How can you be so heartless? That hurts. It really does. What do you mean, heartless? I'm being no such thing. I never said I wouldn't do it. I just said that it would be a good idea if you took the initiative. As their son, you need to show that you love them. No way! I couldn't possibly handle that. It's just not in my nature at all. Plus, you work at a hospital. You have the expertise and experience needed to take care of sick people. It's your specialty. Well, yeah, that's technically true, but... Oh well, it's not like we have to think about this right now. My parents are thankfully still doing good. Don't just take any of this to heart. I was just throwing it out there. So, you're going to be late again tonight, right? I'll grab some takeout dinner again tonight. Not sure what I'm feeling like yet. You should stop by your parents' house and grab something to eat with your mother. Where do you think you'll eat out tonight? Hmm, not sure, but probably one of the usual places. Maybe that one bar we go to a lot? They have some really good burgers. Alrighty, well, I have a few things to take care of now. Hope you have a great night and enjoy your dinner. I'll try to be home as soon as possible though. I'm exhausted. Great, don't worry about it too much. Just be safe. Just make sure you don't drink too much. I know what happens when you have one too many. Yes, yes, I know. Hey, Maribel? Don't worry about dinner for me tonight. 
Something came up again, and I'll be home late. How come? You need to stop doing this to me. I'm thinking of dropping by my parents' house. My mom has been concerned about everything you're dealing with. She also suggested that maybe you should spend more time at home while your dad is still here. It actually sounds like a good idea to me. I mean, we have no idea when he's going to kick it, right? Wait a second. What did you just say? Are you freaking serious? Why would you say something like that? Oh crap! I didn't mean to say it like that. I just meant to say until he's all better. How does someone make a mistake like that? You need to be careful about what you say. I didn't even mean it like that. Stop being so sensitive about everything. Not everything is an attack or meant to hurt you. Jeez, you don't have to get so angry. Hey, do you think it'll be all right for me to stay with my folks for a little bit? Of course. Why wouldn't it be all right? You never asked permission to go and visit them before. What about all your stuff? Don't you need clothes for work? I can swing by and grab it on my way. I don't think I'll need too much anyway. I was thinking of going straight to work from their place. I have some of my stuff there already. Since you're dealing with so much right now, maybe it's best to give you some space. You won't have to worry about cooking for me or taking care of me, at least for a little while. Don't you think that could be beneficial for you? Well, I guess so. Oh, that's right. Why don't you go and spend some time with your folks too? Isn't the hospital close to their house anyway? Plus, your mother will feel a lot better with you around. You can both use the support. I guess you're right. I can't relax too much though. I still have to get to work. But wouldn't it be weird for both of us to leave our home and just leave it without anyone there? No, no. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with that. Just make sure to lock the doors. Plus, in times like these, family is the most important thing. I'm sorry I haven't been able to go visit your father that often either. Please, just let him know that he's in my thoughts and prayers. I think he'll appreciate that I'm thinking about him. I'm sure he will too, but I don't know. Alrighty, so let's do that. So for the next week, we'll both just go and stay with our folks. Are you on board with that? I don't know if that'll work for me actually. There's work I have to do from home too. I'll have to log in through my work computer. Oh, okay. Then is it still okay if I go hang out with my parents? Sure, that's fine with me. Go do your thing. You don't have to worry about me. All right, so let's go with that. I'm glad you're taking it so well. I'll grab my stuff from home, then head over to my parents afterward. Okay, sounds good. I don't want to bother my parents or make them extra worried about anything, so don't worry about calling me while I'm there. Everything will work out the way it's supposed to. Okay, sounds good to me. Well. Tell your parents I say hello, and not to worry too much about me. I'm okay. I definitely will. Leave that to me. They'll be glad to hear that. Hey, what you up to over there? It's been a few days since we talked. Not much. Just staying busy, trying to get through each day. How's your father doing? Is he okay? How is he holding up? Ah, uh, not great. He's still in the hospital, and they're running some tests to try and figure out if there's anything else they can do. I'm just really worried about him. I wish you could come with me to the hospital to visit him. We already went over this. I don't really want to go to the hospital. It's just not my thing. Hospitals make me really uncomfortable. I don't want to go and just sit there feeling useless. 
I understand how you feel, but it's not about what you can do. It's about being there for each other and supporting each other in times of need. For me, it's just really hard to be in a hospital. It brings back a lot of unpleasant memories from when my grandma was sick. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that hospitals was such a trigger for you. But my dad is still your father-in-law, and he's going through a tough time right now. Can't you just try to push through your discomfort for a little while to support him and me? I don't know if I can. It's just a really tough thing for me. Man, I wish your dad knew how much trouble he's causing us right now and decided to meet his demise sooner. I'm sure you'd change your ways if your parents were the ones that were sick. You think you'd be saying the same things then? I have no idea. I guess we'll never know unless that happens to my parents. I just don't want to see anyone suffering. But I think if my parents were sick, I'd hope they would suffer as little as possible. You might feel that way, but I just can't. I would never want my parents gone, no matter what. Okay, okay, I got you. You reminded me enough. I'm trying to work around your feelings and your schedule here, you know. You think it's okay to get mad at me? What do you mean? Work around my feelings? What's that supposed to mean? Whenever we're at home, all you do is talk about your father. Everything just seems so heavy when we're there. Anyone in my position would want to run away for a little bit. Have you ever thought about how I'm feeling? You're the one who decided to go back to your parents' house. Then you'd turn that around and pretend like it's my fault or something? Honestly, I was getting a little tired of being in the same room with you. I was starting to go crazy. That's why I wanted to get out of there and visit my parents. What? Wait a minute here. You know exactly what I've been going through with my dad. You said you understood and that you'd be there for me. Now you're telling me that you want nothing to do with me? Sorry, baby. It's permanent now. I'm ready for us to take a long break. Our discussion here just made me realize that I can't go back with you. Just because he's sick doesn't mean you can start treating your husband like crap. I put up with too much. What are you talking about suddenly? You never once told me about this. What don't you understand? I think I'm being transparent and clear about what I'm thinking. Anyway, I've got some things to take care of now. I'll talk to you again later. Wait a minute. You better answer me. We're not done yet. Craig! Craig, my father just passed away a few hours ago. I can't believe he's gone. Really? What do you mean, really? I just told you my father died, and that's all you can say? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that you're going through this. But we all knew that he didn't have long to live, right? Never mind. Tomorrow we're having the funeral. I really need you to come with me to the funeral. What? Tomorrow? No way! You can't just tell me something all of a sudden and expect me to do your biddings. Look, I can't just drop everything and go to the funeral. I have responsibilities at work. What are you talking about? My dad just passed away. This is a family emergency. You have to come with me to the funeral. Come on. You know that I have plans and obligations too. This meeting has been scheduled for weeks and it's with the boss. I can't just blow it off. It's my father's funeral. I need you there with me. Anyway, you think about this. We all know your work will give you the day off. You know how important my job is to me. I worked so hard to nail that interview. 
for all the work to go to waste just because your father passed away? No. I can't just take the day off. That's crazy. I can't just throw away my career because of it. Oh, I can't believe you're saying this. Plus, I've got no idea how to act at a funeral. It's not like I go to a funeral every day. Your father and I weren't even at all that close. I'm sure he wouldn't notice if I didn't go. There'll be so many other people there. I'll pay my respects at his grave at some point, okay? I'm sorry about your dad. I really am, but I have to think about my future too. Are you being serious right now? I can't believe what I'm reading. How can you say something like this? Fine. If you're not going to come with me, then I'll go alone. Of course I'm serious. I will not take off from work tomorrow, okay? I need you to make up some excuse to tell your mom why I can't go. She probably wouldn't like me not going at all. I don't understand at all, but I guess I don't really have a choice. I'll go to the funeral alone and try to deal with the loss of my dad without you by my side. I wish I could just be there with you, but I just can't. I know this is a difficult time for you with your dad passing away, but I've been thinking about the inheritance. Do you know what your dad had planned for it? No, we never really talked about it. Why are you bringing that up all of a sudden? Well, I was just wondering if there might be any potential investments or business opportunities that we can consider with the inheritance. My dad just passed away and all you can think about is the money? But we're the bereaved. Of course, that's important. I think I deserve something for all the support I gave you. I'm part of the family after all. We've been through a lot together and I should get some type of recognition for that. Didn't you just tell me that you weren't even close to my father? And now all you want to do is talk about money? Oh, come on now. I know this is a hard time for you, but we have to think about the long term. I should be getting at least a little of the inheritance you left behind, right? I am your husband after all. I'm just trying to be practical. Practical? You're being completely selfish and insensitive. My dad just passed away, and all you can think is what you're going to get out of it. Oh well, sorry if I'm just trying to figure out the best for us. But there are a few things I'd like to do with the money he leaves us, you know. Let's talk about it in more detail later than that. We'll never talk about his money ever again. I can't believe that you, who won't even go to his funeral, is talking about something like that? You expect me to listen to you when you're feeling all sorry for yourself, but you won't even take a second to listen to me? What you're seeing is not appropriate in the least. I wouldn't give you a penny if you asked. You want money so bad, you should go out and earn it. You shut your mouth. I'm going to make sure of those words. You better answer me. Do not ignore me. You're home already, right? Still ignoring me? What if I'm back home? What's it to you? You haven't checked on top of the table, have you? I left something for you. On the table? You mean the divorce papers that you tossed there? Oh no, don't worry, I saw those. You saw them and you didn't say anything? I guess that's to be expected from someone like you. You better move your stuff out after you file the paperwork. Sorry if you're just figuring this out, but... We've already been divorced for a few weeks. What are you talking about? Your father's death must have made you crazier than before. How did you fill everything out and file the paper before I even served them to you? Oh, you're an idiot. But sure, I'll play along. Yes, I filed them. Man, you're good. Thanks for taking the initiative. 
you pushed me out of your life. You're the one that actually caused our breakup. I expect you to pay me alimony. If you say that your father didn't leave me anything in his will, the least you can do is divide all of our assets equally. That's the least you owe me. I'm thinking around $100,000. You can pay me in monthly installments if you like. No big deal, right? You do understand that if anyone deserves alimony, it's going to be me, right? You have to pay alimony, not me. Understand? You're going to have to pay me because it was you who caused our relationship to end. You cheated on me. Why else would I be saying this? Me? Cheat on you? <laughs> Where did you get such a crazy idea? Don't just make things up because you're bitter. What proof do you have? None. That's right. Oh, okay. Well, I do have this picture of you. Want to have a look? I wonder who this girl is that's with you. What the hell is this? Where did you get this from? It's a picture of you cheating on me with another girl. That's not what I meant. Why do you have this? Where did you get this? Because I did my research and I'm not as stupid as you think. You had someone following me? Why? The day you supposedly went back to your parents' house, your mother happened to call me that same day. Must have been a coincidence. She wanted to come and visit, and she was worried about me and about everything going on. So I asked her if you were causing her any trouble at the house. She had no clue what I was talking about. She thought I was making it up at first. Wait. Just let me explain for a second, okay? How weird that your story didn't match up with hers. Maybe you should have checked with them first before involving them in your lie. Why would you go out of your way to do that? You worry about other people too much. It's not like I reached out to your mother. She's the one that called me. She was very understanding about my situation though. We had no idea why you didn't actually go back to your parents. Plus, you were acting all weird lately, so I hired a detective to follow you around. A detective agency? You had me followed? How dare you? They told me that you were having all sorts of fun, staying in a hotel with some chick. Sounds like you used up all of your sick days just to hang out with her. How classy. How the hell did you know that? Well, it's because I gave your work a call. They were pretty confused about this whole thing too. What the hell? Why would you do something like that? Well, the detective was giving me so much information. He said that you didn't even go to work. You'd just go to that girl's house every day. So I was worried that your boss didn't know where you were. So I decided to call them. They told me you had taken the week off for my father's funeral. Why would you do something to embarrass me like this? Calling my work? This is none of your business. I wonder what's more embarrassing. Trying to take my father's money after he died, or trying to take the money to go and have fun with your girlfriend. So what if that's what I wanted to do? There's nothing wrong with being honest. What's wrong with trying to get what's mine? Me? Always ruining everything? What exactly do you think I did wrong? You were never there for me. You only cared about your father, never for me. And what's wrong with caring about my father? Taking care of your parents is pretty important. You fool. Plus, you're the piece of crap going around cheating. Since we've been divorced, I've been having the time of my life. I appreciate life now so much more without you. Maybe you've forgotten already that this isn't the first time you've cheated on me. 
Well, I thought that I was to blame when you did that the first time. You came to me crying and apologizing, promising to never hurt me again. I accepted your apology with one condition. Do you remember our conversation that you'd never cheat on me again? We even signed the divorce papers then, remember? I wasn't going to do anything unless you broke your promise. You think I remember all those little fights we had? I see. I guess it wasn't really that important to you. Anyway, so I went and filed the papers that we had signed before. Not the ones you left on the table. I only cheated on you because of how you were treating me. I told you so many times how that was making me feel. I didn't really want to separate or anything. I didn't think it would escalate to this. Is that right? So not getting any money from my father and having to pay alimony? That's not why you're changing your mind, is it? Trying to back yourself out of the corner you're in? No, no way. I don't think like that. Well, that's too bad, isn't it? I have no interest in trying to make things work with a person like you. In the million and one chance that you have for me to forgive you, there is zero possibility that you'd get anything from my father's estate. Why would you even say that? His estate should go to all of his family. Gosh, you're such an idiot. You're really going to try to argue for this again? In-laws have zero claim to an inheritance. So maybe you'll have to work for your living after all, just like every other person out there. Poor baby. Come on. I wasn't serious about the other chick, I swear. We were just messing around. She means nothing to me. I was just lonely. I'll do anything to have you back. Your apology has no weight in this relationship. Let's just go our own ways and you can pay me the alimony you owe me. I'd like nothing better than to never see you again. Do you see how regretful I am? I even have tears in my eyes. How could you be so cold? Right back at ya. I'll never forget all the awful things you said to me about my parents and your transparent greed. I've already explained to your parents that we're no longer together. They came to my father's funeral. Unlike you, they're good people. Why the hell would they go to your father's funeral? Because it's the right thing to do. Especially when you're family. I showed them all of the evidence about you cheating too and explained how it wasn't the first time you did this to me. I told them that I couldn't ever forgive you for what you did and they agreed that I should leave you. Why would you do something so selfish? Why'd you do something to cause my parents to worry about me? Don't blame other people for the damages you caused. You started all of this. Maybe you don't remember this too. But you told me I should go confide in your parents if you ever cheated on me again. And that's exactly what I did. Just like we agreed upon. But why would you go to them without me? You know... Your father would have beat the crap out of you if you were there. Did you want that instead? Well, no, but... Oh, yeah. And I forgot to tell you. But I sent all those pictures to your work. And your girlfriend's work, too. No issue with that either, right? You... Piece of... What the hell are you thinking? But you had lied about where you were. So I thought they deserved to know the truth. At least you'll be able to be with your side chick from now on. That's a positive. No way. That's not what I want. I was just having some fun on the side. I just wanted some attention from you. Come on, let's make this work. Wouldn't it be easier just to go back to normal? Easier? What do you mean by that? You expected me? To do all of the housework by myself? Even though I was making way more money than you ever did? Actually, not having to clean up after you 
makes my life that much easier. But come on, I miss you already. Let's please figure this out. I'll do anything. So take your stuff and go live with your chick. It'll be better that way. But I bet that won't work out either. If you contact me again, I will report you to the police. Have a great life. Is this really happening? I threw out all of Craig's belongings that he had left in the house while we were living together. I decided to move back in with my mom, at least temporarily. I had taken some time off work a little bit, but it's for the best. My mother was a little worried about me after all I went through. Meanwhile, Craig was forced to pay alimony month after month. The girlfriend resigned in embarrassment after her boss saw those naughty pictures. Apparently, Craig was transferred to another location in his company. Some place unwanted workers get transferred to before they are eventually let go. I'm guessing that he'll be quitting his job pretty soon. My mother and I both grieved my late father, but always with a smile, remembering what he meant to us and all the good times we had together. I'll be okay. This situation really made me appreciate family and the bonds we have.